welcome to my Indian makeup series and today I'm going to be doing the look for the state of Goa. Now Goa has two faces, one of it is the Christian face and the other is the Goan face. So yes, I am going for the look of the Christian bride because I think this is the only place where I can also incorporate Christian brides throughout India as well. So I've done like a Christian bridal look today and all of the products that I've used are like completely flash you know flashback proof so if you are looking for some product which will not give you flashback then make a list of these products guys because these will not give you any flashback whatsoever now coming to the look again the disclaimer this is my complete my take on the look this doesn't have to be necessarily how every girl will dress up but yes this is my look now what i've observed is when christian brides abroad do their makeup they tend to go for a more neutral lip because their skin tone is so light they can carry a deeper neutral very freely as well but when it comes to indian skin tones i feel like a little more brighter pink you know or a bit more nude pink is something that would suit our skin tone more prettily and that's why i went for a little bright pink shade you can however go for a completely neutral shade you do you boo i felt like pink like a pink shade would really make this look come together and that's why i've gone for it because i've gone for really rosy pink cheeks as well but again everything is customizable according to you if you want to go for a really neutral lip you can go for a really neutral lip as well that is completely up to you so yes if you want to know how i got this look which is perfect for a christian pride FYI or any bride if you're just a bride and you want to do something like this then please keep on watching Starting off with the Inglow Under Makeup Base, I'm going to apply it all over my face. This makes sure your makeup stays in place all day long and it doesn't have any flashback whatsoever as I said in the beginning as well. I'm making sure I put it under my eyes and over them as well. Because this is a bridal look, I'm going to color correct a little with the e.l.f. color correcting concealer palette. I'm going to pick up this green shade and I'm going to apply it to my red spots. Now the color correcting theory works according to the color wheel. So green balances out the red and yellow balances out the blue and that's how I'm going to do. So yes, I'm using the yellow one to cancel out a little bit of pigmentation around my eyes as well as lips. So that's what I'm doing as you can see me doing here, lips and then later I'm gonna put it under my eyes as well here I'm having a moustache like a milk moustache like we used to have in childhood so yes I'm gonna do my eyes and then I'm taking the pack mini beauty blender and just blending it out so that it does it's not blotchy or patchy and it's really nicely blended in seamlessly Moving on to foundation, I'm going to take the Studio West Pure Passion Flawless Finish Foundation. The coverage of this foundation is pretty good and as I said, it doesn't have any flashback because this doesn't have any SPF. So yes, I'm just applying that and using the Pack Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend it into my skin by pushing it into my skin in the dabbing motions like you can see me doing here. Then I'm taking this Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline and I'm going to put it under my eyes just to brighten them up making sure I go really well into that inner corner and up the orbital bone on the center of my face that is my bridge of the nose between my brows a little bit on the forehead around my mouth and also on the cupid's bow chin right under where my contour is supposed to be that's there and above the highest point of my eyebrow which I forgot to show and then I'm using the pack beauty blender mini one this is one with the flat edge and I'm blending all of this out next up I'm gonna set my face with the help of this faces loose powder and I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes first and then all over my face Then I'm going into the contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and mixing up Havana and Java I'm gonna contour. So I'm first just placing the contour so don't worry if it looks a little harsh. This is the uh, Makeup Revolution Pro Curve Contour Brush and I'm taking the contour up as you can see in a U shape. This will make sure my apples look more fuller and more youthful. I'm also going on my jawline to cut that double chin out. 
a little bit on my temples just because I like it and using that pack mini beauty blender I'm also gonna contour my nose I'm gonna use that same beauty blender to blend the contour out as well Going into blush because I, you should be a blushing pride, I'm using this L'Oreal Blush Boutique or palette, I don't know. I'm mixing all of the three colors up and I'm applying it to my apples, like the cheeks, apples of the cheeks. And I am going a little bit heavy because I will be applying a setting spray further on in the video and that does take away a lot of the color. So then I'm going to go into my highlighter because you want to be a glowing right and I'm using uh, the Becca Jacqueline Hill Champagne Pop and I'm applying it on my cheekbones to get the pop as well as on the centers of my face just to highlight them up. And then going into a bronzer to get a little bit of color, I'm using this VS Makeup Bronzer and I'm going to bronze up the general areas that is around my contour. And going into the setting spray as I said, I'm just going to take a quick shower in it as usual. And then taking the beauty blender, just pushing everything in so that everything melts really nicely and looks like skin. Then brow time, I'm using the I Love Brow Kit using the brown shade from right there. I'm just gonna fill into my brows to make them look as fleeky as I can. So yes, just doing that in short strokes. I'm also gonna set this with the gel that comes in with this kit which is great because you don't need to carry different, 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 different million products then. So yeah, just taking the brow gel. And setting my brows into place so that they don't move anywhere all day long. Starting with the eyes, I'm just gonna use this one single palette by MUA and picking up that pearly, champagne y, silvery color. I'm just gonna apply it all over my eyes using a blender brush. Now a blender brush will give a more flawless and soft look and that's why I'm using it. And then I'm picking up this taupey shade or taupe shade and I'm putting it into my crease with the help of this Makeup Revolution blender brush. Now because this made the look completely cool, I wanted a bit more of warmth than this and that's why I'm going into this chocolate brown color with the help of Sigma E63 and I'm just gonna apply it over and on top of the taupe shade that we applied earlier on. I'm also flicking it out as you can see me doing here. And then moving to the darkest color, picking up on a Sedona Liz brush which is like a pointed dome shaped cream brush. I'm just cream brush? Did I just say cream brush? <laughs> Sorry, crease brush. I'm just going to place it right in my crease. I'm not going to blow this out. As you can see me doing here, I'm going in circular motions to make sure the color stays there. And then picking up this matte highlight shade, I'm just going to highlight under my brow bone. And then taking the chocolatey brown shade on a liner brush, I'm just going to line my lower lash line to balance my eyes out. Lining my eyes really thinly first because I want this to be a guide for my false lashes. So I'm lining it really thinly with this pack pen liner brush. And going on to mascara by Maybelline. This is the Colossal. And I'm just going to apply it all over my lashes. Top and bottom both. And then putting on lashes and there, that's where the liner will help you being a guide. I did go over to make it a little bit more thicker, but yes, it will be a guide. Moving on to lips, I'm using Calvin Klein Mesmerize all over my lips. First, this is a beautiful shade, guys. So I'm just applying that. But because I wanted my lips to be a little bit more glossy, so that's why I will be adding a Stila 
liquid lipstick on top of it in the shade Nude. So with that, I finished my Goa inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, then don't forget to comment and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to check out all of my social media, which will be listed in the bottom bar as usual for you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, take care. Bye.